ADP has been established for over 25 years. In fact, it started on April Fool's Day of 1999. Now, the gentleman you're about to meet has spent over half of his life at this company. He has seen firsthand its growth. So I've come here to find out the key to its success. I'm Anthony Ingledew from ADP Precision Engineering. I'm one of the directors here. So ADP has been established for 25 years. We're a subcontract machine shop based in Newcastle. We do a variety of work in a variety of sectors. We specialise in subcontract machining, a wide array from oil, oil and gas. We do EV, we do defence. Uh, we do a wide range of sectors. I think what separates us from everybody else is value for money. Um, when you look around, you can see the quality of machines we've got, the quality of components. Uh, you know, your, your dog packs, uh, your inspection reports, CMM reports, all that type of thing is under one umbrella. And I think we offer good value for money compared to other manufacturers. I think we've got a successful company because first and foremost is our staff, uh, the equipment that the staff are using, uh, and of course the environment that we provide here for the staff to evolve, grow, develop. I think that's fundamental for what we do. Yeah, so we have 25 staff here running night and day. Uh, we've got 24 CNC machines uh, going from two axis lathes all the way up to five axis milling machines. So my role with ADP, I'm the area sales manager covering Scotland and the northeast of England. And I met these guys back in 2003, a um, long time ago now. I was a service engineer then. Um, so immediately kind of just struck up a relationship with the guys. Um, and then when I moved into sales, um, I, moved, I ended up, you know, reconnecting with the guys and um, it's been our relationship since then. Um, the customers, but I would also class them as friends. Yeah, I think a lot of the sectors that have moved into recently have dictated uh, the machines have got to be super accurate. The tolerances that we're working with, especially in the EV market, the, the DMGs allow what they work to those tight tolerances. Uh, the accuracy of the machine, also the fact that we can get multi-axis machined all in one, so the job's on coming on and off. Uh, it gives you a better geometrical tolerance on the components. So we've recently purchased another CMX 70U from DMG. The reason we bought that machine, we created our own bottleneck. Fortunately, the machine was that successful. Uh, we had growth dictated that we needed another machine. And we also bought the machine to be proactive rather than reactive. We wanted to have the space to grow rather than reacting and getting the machine in when it was too late. Uh, I think we cope with changes in the market with keeping the staff up to date with the latest technologies, whether it's tooling, it's training, obviously the new machines help with that. Uh, and I think just allowing the staff to communicate any areas of development that they think that they may need for the future. The evolution of the machine started with ADP. The first machine was an NLX 2500Y machine. They wanted to have, they were making more accurate parts, more productive. So they wanted something that was faster, more reliable, more accurate. And that was the machine that we started off the journey with. I then progressed from there um, into the melon section. They moved on to a milk cap machine. Um, that was a highly productive, really rapid, fast machine we needed for small medical parts. From there, we went to more of a kind of general milling machine and the CMX 600B. Um, that was for you know making fixtures, making also making medical parts. But then, then the next step happened, and this is the exciting step. We stepped it up to the CMX uh, U-Range as a five-phase machining platform. And we got it in two different sizes, the 50U and the 70U. One, the 70U, the bigger one, is here behind us today. And we've got those prep with automation as well. So we also see an example of automation. So we've went the whole circle. We've went from the turning to a very sm small, rapid, three-axis machine um, to a multi-purpose and a multi-faced machine as well. With looking after the marketing for DMG Mori UK, businesses like ADP are perfect for us, especially when you look at their machine shop. The machines write their own stories. Their success for ADP is the reason they're continually investing in us, the machines, the business. And it's one of those points where I ask myself or I ask other people, is it ADP using the machines that's opening their uh, capacity for more work or are the machines attracting more work or is it both? The reason we keep on buying DMG machines is the reliability, the accuracy, the customer service, which is very important. If you have a machine that's down, machine costs you money. So I think we've got a relationship with DMG now and we trust them. 
I believe the machines allow it to approach new sectors. Uh, it gives you the confidence with the improved flexibility, the reliability, and the capacity to do new work. Music